In the second video of the series, I'll show you a very simple method for recording your computer desktop using freeware from Microsoft called Community Clips. To get started using Community Clips to create your own video recordings of your computer desktop, first thing you want to do is get the software, of course. So to do that, just do a Google search on Community Clips, and the first hit in the search results should be a direct link to the installer. Now that's just about a 12 megabyte file, so it downloads and installs very quickly. Once you have that installed, you'll have a icon here in your system tray. It looks like a little blue computer screen. If you right click that, you'll see three options for starting your videos. Uh, the top option, start recording, will record the entire Windows desktop. Start recording application, that'll let you choose a single application to record. And start recording region allows you to define a certain area of your screen to record. So I'll go ahead and do a quick example now. I'll start a recording. And right away I see this red dot uh, recording icon indicating it is recording. And it is capturing the audio and the video. Uh, everything that's happening on the desktop and the system audio. So if you have a microphone connected, you can narrate along with it as I am now. And that makes your videos easier to follow, more valuable. So highly recommend picking up a microphone. One other tip for you I have is to make this icon stick here. If you think you might be doing more than just one or two videos, you don't want to have to go hunting for this. So you can just click here, go to Customize, and make sure the Community Clips is set to Show Icon and Notifications. That way it will always be there handy for when you want to start a video on a whim. So now I am recording. I can go and make changes to my setup. I can uh, do anything with any of these instruments that I want to, and it'll all be captured in my video. And when I'm done, or if I just want to take a break and pause it, I'll hover over this icon and it'll say click to stop, to stop or pause recording. So if I click there, it'll immediately pause the recording. You see the pause icon. And at this point, I can continue after taking a break if I want to, or I can just stop it if I've said everything I want to say. And so I stop the recording, and it immediately took me to the beginning of the video, and it just starts playing through it. You can scan through this and just kind of check it out. And if you're happy with it, you can go to Save, and then give it a file name and create a WMV file which you can then share with the viewer, whoever needs to see the video. And so lots of different ways to get that file in their hands. If it's small enough, then you can uh, just simply email it to them. Or if it's larger, you can post it to YouTube, either publicly or privately. Um, or you can use a file sharing service like Dropbox, something like that, to get the video file in the hands of the user. But uh, the key is just to, to use this. It's very easy. Now you know how to bring all the instruments on your display. Um, <clears throat> once you have them there, use this Community Clip software to do a recording. You can narrate along with it and describe what you're seeing. Very powerful tool for documenting test procedures or problems that you might be having with your instrumentation.